I'm looking forward to this. All right, so. We're going to start with the first one. Welcome back to two white guys. Welcome back. Advanced Wars. Advanced Wars. A tier. A tier? Easily. A okay, tier game. Animal, Animal Crossing. A tier. A tier game. Yeah, I'll agree. Better than Advanced Wars? No, not for me. I'm not going to disagree. Bayonetta? Never played it. I'll put no. All right. If we don't play it, let's just put it in D. <laughs> yeah, it's we only play good games. Yeah, we only play good games. Uh, Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Uh, I just put, in general, I'll all put of it them. In B. Would this be including Junior? Oh, it's true. I'd still put it in B overall. Because for Animal Crossing, I would put it S tier, but New Leaf and the Wii are both Animal Crossing things, so I did not put them in S tier. Yeah, I. And you the probably mobile, the mobile game. And, and you feel uh, the same way about New the mobile Horizons. game and New Horizons. Yeah, so it's not a perfect franchise. So like, I would put it in S, but we're doing every single game together. Right. This is just <laughs> franchise as a whole. Donkey Kong, I'd say B. B. Yeah. Doctor Mario. C or D. It's hard to go wrong with Dr. Mario, though. I don't think Dr. Mario was a problem, but it's just like... It's just Dr. Mario. It's, in a way, it's just another like Tetris clone type of thing. All right, you said C or D. I was going to say around B, so I'll I actually, do C. I'll, I'll do B. Because you're right, you can't really go wrong with Dr. Mario because it's just another like... Right. Yeah, I'll just do B. I'll change right. your mind. Fire Emblem, B or A for me? A. Okay. Better than Animal Crossing? Yeah. Consistently well, better than Animal Crossing. No. Well, well maybe. Oh, wait. Ma maybe. We're so different because I like New Horizons and you don't. Right. You like New Leaf, New Leaf and, and you I don't. don't. I like the GameCube. I don't know if you played that or not. I I actually I liked the mobile one a little bit. It wasn't my favorite, fine. but it was fine. I liked Fire Emblem <clears throat> Mobile better than Animal Crossing mobile. I did. I played Fire Emblem Mobile, the gotcha game. Mm -hmm. I played it for a long time, and it I've, did gotcha like twice. Yeah, I never spent money on it, but I did play it for like over a year, and it was decently fun. Well, as you know, I'm a Clash Royale veteran. I've literally played the game. <laughs> so the game came out in like March 6th, and my download for is March 7th. Right. Like I literally played Clash Royale since the day after it came out, and I would buy these like things for Clash Royale. Like I would buy these for yep. like passes and whatever, or I would buy them for Clash of Clans. And I would use the leftover money sometimes for the Fire Emblem games. So like, it did gotch my money a few I'd times. I'd be fine putting it over Animal Crossing if you want to. Yeah, I'll do it. Better than Advance Wars? <laughs> no. Okay. This is my opinion. F-Zero? Nah. D. I haven't really played it. I've, I don't know. I've only played the SNES one and I didn't really like it. I'll put it over Bayonetta. Yeah. Uh, Golden Sun? Is that Escanor? What? I don't know what Golden Sun is. I'll put it over Bayonetta. Do you know what it is? It's a, a JRPG series made by Camelot. The JRPC? Kid Icarus. Okay, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus has one good game. Kid Icarus. Don't they only have two? There's three. There's the NES game. There's of Myths and Monsters for Game Boy. And there's Uprising. So, so Kid they... Icarus Uprising, honest, honest everything in my entire life is yep. S tier. Yeah, Kid despite Icarus... the controls, it's an S tier Kid game. Kid Icarus Uprising, there was so much love put in that game, right. and Whenever, so much good voice acting and so much stuff in that game. Uprising is an S tier, but I have spent my, enough time playing the older one where I feel like it would be an A or a B. You know that, like, I hardly ever beat games, and I beat Kid Icarus Uprising. Yeah. You would have never beat it if it was a RP, like a JRPG. But... Right, but, like, it was very short and sweet. <laughs> it knew what it wanted to do, and it did it and very it did well. It. And uh, but I, the replayability for me was awesome. I would replay it all the time. Kid Icarus only has one good game, <laughs> out of three. Yeah. So while Uprising is an S, yeah. I think that brings it down to a B. I'd say over, over Donkey under Kong. Under Donkey Kong, because Donkey really? Kong is consistently better. Okay. Like yeah. Donkey Kong has it is consistently less better. low lows and but not as high highs. But the, yeah, the best Kid Icarus. You know that that meme format. Kid Icarus's best game versus Donkey Kong's average. You, you know the Yeah, format. it's like Kid Icarus's best, I think, is better than Donkey Kong's best, but Kid Icarus's worst isn't as bad at, or it's worse, is worse than, Donkey than Donkey Kong's, Kong's worse. It averages out. You know Kirby. What I mean. Kirby? Kirby I'd is, say a. as a character, S tier, because I love Kirby, even though it's just a weird amoeba I'd blob. say Kirby's games consistently hit a decent level of quality. Even, it's like, the so, free ones. It's so weird because I've had those... 
Like I even agree, but there were Kirby games like Mass Effect or Mass Attack where I played these games or um or not Star Allies, but the the one on the DS that mm-hmm. had the the weird rat with the red hat. Squeak Squad. Squeak Squad. Like I would play these and the and the one before that. I would play them all the time constantly. Uh-huh. But then like Star Allies came out. That's not the new one, right? That's the one for like the Wii U or something. The Star Allies is the first one for Switch. The one we played? Yeah. Yeah. I played that one and the one that came before it on the Wii U. I played those games for like five minutes and then went, I don't think I want to play Wii this anymore. Wii U was a Rainbow Curse. Yeah. So, well, I think Kirby is very consistently good, though. Like even, I think it's good. Like, the quality Even good. Rainbow Curse and Star Allies are still, like, <clears throat> decent games. I'll put Kirby in A I, or B. I'd put Kirby over Animal Crossing. Yes. Um... Because, like, even, like, back in the Game Boy days, Kirby still had, like, consistently good games. Like, the spinoffs were great. Like, uh, oh, I don't want to say Kirby's Pinball Land is great, but I'm biased because nostalgia. But, like, Kirby Star Stacker is an excellent game. Uh, Kirby's just consistently throughout his life had great games. I would put Luigi's Mansion above Donkey Kong. Okay. Under Animal Crossing? That that's where I, that's where my brain was trying to like my brain was conflicting because I don't know if it would be better or worse than Animal Crossing. I'd be fine putting Luigi at bottom of A and moving Animal Crossing to top of B. I'll I'll go with that. Cause I, I think, like that. I like like it works. Yeah, cause like I feel like Luigi's Mansion is an A tier game. All like, three Luigi's general, Mansion games are very good. The 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 Dolphin, Dark Moon. And then the Luigi's Mansion 3 with the goop guy. Yeah. They're all good. I liked all of them. I did. The one for... The Dark Moon for the DS was kind of hard to play. I beat it as a kid. But I don't know if I ever beat it. I think I I had to look up walkthroughs, but I beat it. (laughs) I remember it was a good game. I really, really liked Dark Moon uh, as a kid. Mario and Luigi? I loved the... No, the Inside Stories. Inside Stories is the best one. Inside Story, I'd say, is like high A. There's three or four of them. There's Superstar Saga, Partners in Time, Dark Moon, or not not Dark Moon, that's Luigi, uh, Inside Story. And the one with the Paper Mario. And then Dream Team, and then Paper Jam, and then the remakes. They remakes. They, re- they remade Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside okay. Story. I gotta be honest, Superstar Saga is the one for the GBA, right? Yeah, the original. The original. I loved that game. I played through part of it. It's very charming. Very I good. played it so much. And the little green evil guy. <laughs> Popple. The the villain. I, no, uh, Fawful. I loved that game. My man had chortles. I played it so much. So my experience is I played that one. I played Bowser's Inside Story. Bowser's Inside Story. Which is the one with the yellow star dude, right? Uh... Like on the cover with the white... Yeah, the white I can't cover remember, art with the star guy. I can't remember her name, but yeah, <clears throat> I'm calling him Star Guy, but Starlo. I, yeah. I I liked that, those two games, and then I played the paper one. I actually, my first time playing the paper one, I got it for my birthday or something, mm-hmm. and I had a I had a couple friends over for a birthday party. I had two friends in the other room playing Minecraft, and I got the Paper Mario, or the Paper Inside Story. Yeah, Paper Jam. Paper Jam. I got that as a gift. From like my parents or someone, and I left them in the room in the living room to play Minecraft while I went in my room and sat on my bed and played Paper Jam <laughs> at my birthday party. <laughs> Based. And then my parents go, Dylan, I know you want to play your game, but you can't just like leave your guests in there and like and play another game in here. And I was like, oh, fine. And then I went in there and played Minecraft with them. <laughs> I'll, I'd be fine putting it in. <clears throat> Low A, high B, somewhere around there. I don't have any flaws or problems with it, really. I think... I'll put it in A. I'd put it under Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, I would too. Okay. See, here's the thing. There may not be, like, a main... To to me personally, there may not be a main huge flaw in Mario and Luigi. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing about it that makes it deserve... S tier. Right. Like the highest point of it isn't like anything really crazy. Right. Like I said, I'd put Bowser's Inside Story at like high A. Yeah. Because none of them specifically, like Kid Icarus Uprising, immediately you're like, that's an S. 
a Mario and Luigi, you have to like consider if you would put it in an S tier. Right. And like, like I think only, that means you don't get an S tier. The only it. Mario and Luigi game I wouldn't put in like <coughs> A, or, a B or B would be Paper Jam. And even then, it's still like even a then decent it's, game. It's at least A or B. It's right. obviously it's better than F Zero. It's just it's just not as good as what came before Mario Kart. Which ones have you played? Uh, I've played. I've played for, all of them. I've played a little bit. Of, I never beat any of them, but I've played all of them. We have the sixty-four one. Oh, Mario Kart! I thought we were still talking about Mario. Luigi. No, Mario Kart. I've played uh, Mario I've played, Kart for SNES, which is an awful game. Uh, I've played. I think I've played all of them. Double Dash. Double Dash. We. We. Seven. Seven. Tour. Tour. Eight and eight deluxe. Eight and eight deluxe. I've played those too. Um, how many were before that? Uh, is it I'm just leaving the one? out sixty-four and Super Circuit. I think. You know what? I'm not sure if I played Super Circuit, but I know I have the 64 one. I'm not sure if I played Super Circuit. Or I think not. it's like the SNES one, I'm but not on sure. Game Boy Advance. So take that. Oh, it's for will. the Game Boy. Yeah. Okay, I actually have that one, but I have no memory of playing it. I don't like. I know because I have a Mario Kart for the Game Boy. I don't I'm like pretty sure. uh, Mario Kart. Oh, and Mario Kart DS. I played DS. Yeah, I have DS. Or I had it. I don't know where it's at. I don't like Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart at all. Dude, Mario Kart DS had Rob in it. Yeah. Was that DS or 7? That was Rob. That was 7. Or no, that I was DS. I think it was just DS, right? <laughs> that was DS. Dude, DS putting Rob in it was like... Crazy. At the time when I was a kid, I was like, dude, this is this is insane. It's the guy from Smash Bros. <laughs> dude, I only wanted to play Rob. I remember... Andy was a heavy. I remember getting ticked off because uh, the action replay couldn't unlock Rob. Pour one out for the homies. <laughs> I'll put Mario Kart in A. Yeah. Um, it's solid. I like... I'll let you pick where in A because I don't know where I'd put it. I'm it's just... It's a hard one. It's like an undefinable place. Right, because it's just Mario Kart, you know? Like, Rebecca played Mario Kart, and she was like, this is boring. And I was like, well, if you played with friends or you played with whatever, it'd be fun. Right. I think you can get tired of Mario Kart very fast. Especially, like, any time I'd bring my Switch somewhere and be like, hey, does somebody want to play something? And, and they want to play Mario Kart. They'd be like, hey, do you have Mario Kart? Yeah. And it's like, uh, like the... I've played this the last 20 times with a random group yeah, of people. Yeah, it's the casual game. So it, I don't it gets, think being casual makes it bad because Kirby's in the middle. No, I'm saying. But I agree with what you're saying. It's like overexposure. That's not Mario Kart's fault. I'd put it's it just... under Luigi's Mansion. Okay, I'm fine with that. Mario Party. <sighs> Snap. As much as I hate Mario Party, I'll put it in A. <laughs> I'd put it over Mario Kart. Yeah. I it's like, like Mario Party. it's like the casual game, just like Mario Kart. But awesome. But but good. <laughs> but like better. Yeah. Super Mario. It just is that gonna be all the Mario games? Like also Odyssey and sixty four. You're comparing the, you're gonna hate this franchise. Cause this has Mario sixty four. Yeah, but this it's has also Mario got, Odyssey. It's also got like Mario two. Games I like. <laughs> like like Super like uh Mario Land two and Mario three D Land. You liked the second one? Mario Land 2? Where you have to, like, squat and pick the turnips, and that's you, Toad. No, that's uh, Mario Bros. 2. Uh, Mario Land 2 is for Game Boy. That's okay. where, like, the game that Mario was there, first in. Listen, there are too many Marios <laughs> for me to remember them all. But, like, Mario Land 2, uh, Mario uh, 3, Mario 3D Land, and uh, New Super Mario Bros., and... Uh, I'm I'm cause I'm thinking this is just like the platformers and stuff because like we're not including like Mario Sports or anything because like other Mario Party like spinoffs or Mario spinoffs are here so I'm assuming this is like the platformers. These are the mainline Mario games. I understand and I agree. Like I'll I'll work with that, but for some reason my brain just looked at it and said, "Why is Arms in last when it's an A?" Do you want to go ahead and rank ARMS? <laughs> <laughs> well, ARMS as a franchise is just one game. And that game's pretty good. I'll give it a C tier. <laughs> okay. Hey, <laughs> you know what? If you throw ARMS in S, 
for you, regardless of how I feel, then you're throwing Starfy an S. Regardless of how you feel. Okay. Okay. Shake. Yeah. You can put Starfy an S. Here, just for you, I'll put Starfy over on. <laughs> I love Starfy. I'm sorry. I can't help it. What a weird selection. Why is Starfy on here? <laughs> but like... What's what's missing? Damon X Machina? <laughs> Why is the first thing that popped in my head Monster Hunter? Because <laughs> Nintendo is like they ha- they always show Monster Hunter. Yeah, all they're, of their marketing, stuff. Uh, they're marketing. They're uh, marketing. Okay, what's Super Mario. Place? Just put it in A. It's yeah, Mario. I'll put it middle or top. It's Mario over Luigi's Mansion. Oh uh, yeah, and Luigi gets second again. Yeah, Metroid. Oh, I put in. I, the, okay, I've only liked Metroid, what was the one I told you, Metroid Hunters? For the Metroid DS? Prime Hunters. Metroid Hunters. Why'd I say I like that? I like that one for the DS, and I like, okay, I like that one Metroid <laughs> game, and every other Metroid game I played, I went, this is terrible, I don't want to play this. Really? And I hated it. I never played Dread, so I'm not going to say Dread is bad. But I've played every Metroid, to my knowledge, other than Dread. I've played... Uh, I didn't like them. I played the original, and I thought, this is fun for like two seconds. Yeah, I also thought it was fun. And then I, I went through like three of the little portals like, yeah. on the side, and I went, okay, well... I played Super up to the lava area <clears throat> and got stuck. Okay. I played... Uh, haven't played Fusion. I haven't played... I've played a little bit of uh, Prime 1. I've played, uh, I've played, uh, what is it, uh, Samus Returns a little bit, and it's pretty good, the 3DS one. I don't understand the, the, I played, the interest in Metroid. I beat Dread, and I thought it was a phenomenal game. Yeah, you would want to put Dread in, like, S tier. Like, I would put Dread in, like, high A, low S. But that's not the rest of Metroid. Just like Uprising. Yeah, so I'd, I'd be fine putting Metroid in B. I want to put Metroid in B because that one game, I did love it. That would be like an A-tier game for me. Yeah. The Hunters. I just... Everything else was just D-tier for Metroid me. Metroid has... I couldn't I stand it. Oh. Very high highs and very low the lows. Other, the other Metroid game that I absolutely loved was Nintendo Land. I loved the Metroid game Nintendo on there. Nintendo Land pops off. I love the Metroid uh, game on there. Dude. Put it in low A now. <laughs> Just because of Nintendo Under... Land. Yeah. Okay. Just because of Nintendo yeah. Land. Mother? Do you, let's do the white one because two white guys. I'll let you put Mother somewhere. Okay, so I've played... What, what do you mean by the Mother franchise? Uh, Earthbound Beginnings, Earthbound, and Mother 3. I'll let you put it somewhere. Okay, so... I don't want involvement with Earthbound. Do do, do you not like it? It's a love-hate relationship. I... I, I'll be neutral. I respect them. I've never beaten any of them. I think it's overhyped. I definitely do think they're overrated, but I do think that they're still very good games. They deserve to be rated highly. Right, but, like, they're not, like, this, like, pinnacle of video gamedom that, like... YouTubers would lead you to believe. Says the man who's never beaten any of them. Yeah, but like, you know. <laughs> I I agree from my gaming experience. Like, I think they're they're very fun and quirky and charming, but they're not these like, I don't think of Earthbound as like this life-shattering, life-altering experience. I would put it next to Animal Crossing. But that's an insult to Kid Icarus, but I'd put it next to Animal Crossing. I'll agree, because I think... uh. The three games that Earthbound has are consistently better than the three games that Kid Icarus has. Yeah. Because, like, Kid Icarus... But they're also better than Donkey Kong. Yeah. Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus has one good game. Mother has two good games. <laughs> I'll just put the other one in D tier. Yeah. <laughs> just, just... Better than Bayonetta. <laughs> Paper Mario. I'll let you take this one. I feel like it has a huge penalty because you haven't played them. 
I've, you played the Sticker Star. I played a little bit of Sticker Star. And you played the Super for the Wii. I played a little bit of. I've played a little super bit of everything on. Super onwards. Yeah. Did you ever beat any of them? No. I've beaten every Paper Mario multiple times except for Origami King, and I made it past the first boss and never played it again. Okay. Um, now, can the first few games for you carry the weight of the franchise? I would say Origami King is a B tier. I don't think Origami King is like a bad game because I actually like it more than Sticker Star and Color Splash. Right. But I didn't hate Color Splash either. I know people make fun of it and do a lot of stuff. Like against Color Splash, Bro, I whenever I played it, I enjoyed it. Color Splash has the Koopa Links. I loved Color <laughs> Splash when I played it as a kid, and I loved Sticker Star when I played it. Honestly, I don't have anything against the Paper Mario series except they just, I think they started going more downhill. But I think their downhill is still a B tier or A tier. So, I would put it high of A or S. Really? Okay. That's just me. But it would be I'll, the lowest of S. If I'll say, was. but you also do have your opinions about the games. I just think they're fine. Okay. So I'd be willing to put it. Uh, we can put it around Metroid. Is do you want to put it at the bottom of A? I was gonna say like either. Here, I think it's better than Kirby. Either here or here. Ooh, put it before Super Mario. Like, okay. Yeah, right there. All right, Pikmin. S tier. Even the mobile game. I'm not taking I'm not taking any hits. I'm not taking any L's. I go ahead, tell me your opinion. <laughs> I don't really have one, so I can't really <laughs> say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I played the demo for three and I said Okay. Listen, I have a ritual. Yeah. I play Pikmin 2 yearly. Okay. Yearly? I play through and beat Pikmin 2. I know where like half the treasures okay. are in that game and there are like If I let you treasures. put Pikmin in S, you have to let me bump arms to the top of S. You're the one who put arms under it, so yeah. All right, do you want Pikmin over or under Starfy? Over. I played Starfy a lot. A lot <laughs> this is an one. awesome tier list. I love this tier list. Pokémon. You ever played Starfy? I'm just going to ask. A little bit. <clears throat> Play it on the channel one day. Pokemon. You'll get, a game, you'll get a DS adapter. Yeah. Or we'll get an emulator, whichever one happens first. Pokemon. F. Create an F tier. For <laughs> just for there. Pokemon. Yeah. Just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and no, get an F tier. But I like Pokemon. Pokemon. But that doesn't validate that they're an F tier. <laughs> yes, it does. Just because you like the game doesn't okay. make it not F tier. Why is Pokemon F? Because I don't like it. Do you really not like Pokemon? Okay, Mr. Spend All My Money on Pokemon Cards. Mr. Competitive Pokemon. At the very least. B. At the very least. At the very least, I was going to say, like, bottom of A. Really? Yeah. I, I was thinking more top of B, so bottom of A also works. Yeah. <clears throat> you I, know what? For this tier list, it's definitely at least, like, A. Yeah. I'd say I like... The peak of Pokemon is S. I like the peak of Pokemon more than I... What did I do? <laughs> I my, your mouse has buttons on the side, and I hit one by accident. Um, so one of them like goes back a page. Oh, okay. So I like the peak of Pokemon. The peak. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, what do you, how do you feel about... Okay, how do you feel about Pokemon Rumble? Like the, the one on the DS where they're the wind-up toys? It's pretty good. How do you feel about Pokey Park? I loved it as a kid. It's awesome. It was a very good kid game. It's awesome. Pokey Park is great. Especially like the scene where there's like a Caterpie who's like, I want to race you, Pikachu. Look, there's all no I'm way saying you can find me. And you have like five minutes to find him and he doesn't hide because he's too slow to all run I'm away saying to hide. Is that I can still sing the commercial for Pokey Park 2 Wonders Beyond. We are putting Pokey Park in S. Poke we're, Park 2, Wonders Beyond, Something's Gone Terribly but also, Wrong, Pokemon, Pokemon Are Missing, There's a Mystery, so obviously It Seems Like a Child an for the Ultimate Team. You know what? 
here's here's what we're gonna we're gonna have to decide. Does me loving Pokemon, um, unite, Pokemon well, whatever, there are no... Pokemon whatever, and then you loving the ones that I don't make Pokemon the perfect franchise, or does it make it the worst franchise? Because we hate, you know what I mean. <clears throat> we hate opposite ones, but love opposite ones. So does I that make it perfect or the worst? There's something for everyone. Perfect. I'd be willing to put it at the bottom of S. I'll put it under Starfy. <laughs> <laughs> Punch Out. Yeah. I loved Punch Out for the, the, the... I've only played the NES one. The original Punch Out. Like for Nintendo... The, the I'll, NES. I'll put Punch Out in A. I'll put it in A. Or yeah. B. I'll put it under Metroid or above it. I'll put it under Metroid. I, I really liked Punch Out. Rhythm Heaven, I've only played one. I, I'll say no. And I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I'll say no. I'll put it... I'll let you pick it. Hmm... Is it going to be the first C-tier game? No, 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 no. Uh, <coughs> Splatoon will be the first C-tier game. We'll get there. <laughs> I'll put Rhythm Heaven between Animal Crossing and Mother. Smash? All of them, huh? Yep. All six of them. Seven. Don't forget Smash Portable Edition. No, that's, inclu- the DS. Uh, that's including Smash 3DS. What about Smash 3DS DLC? <laughs> That's a whole different game in and of Six, itself. There's 64 <laughs> Melee Brawl I, 3DS Wii U Ultimate. I feel like when you have the Wii U game, it's two separate games. Because you have before Bayonetta and after Bayonetta. It's like before <laughs> Jesus and like before Christ and after Christ. Like, that's what Smash Wii U is like. Like BC and AD, but now it's... <laughs> B, B, and A, B. Yeah, it's like before Bayonetta, after Bayonetta. Because <laughs> quite literally, it's two different games. Yeah. You ne- you always saw like certain characters in the in the tournaments winning, and then when Bayonetta showed up, okay. it's just Bayonetta Do winning. Do you want my opinions on the Smash games? <clears throat> All of them? Yeah. No. Okay. But give um, them anyway. Okay. I was going to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 64? Because I've, I've played all of them. Yeah, me too. 64 is all right for like, you know, you play it for a few minutes. I think and like, I play them all. This is what it used to be. And then, like, I've played them all on original hardware. The only one I don't have or haven't played in original hardware is, um, uh, shoot. It's either Melee or the 64 one. I think it's one. Melee. Because you've said before you haven't played Melee. Is that it? Melee? I the think, GameCube one. I think 64... Yeah, I don't think I've played it for the GameCube. And Melee? But I've definitely dropped it in my 64 once or twice. Mm. Melee is pretty good. I don't have, like, very strong opinions about Melee. Um, Brawl? Brawl was really, really fun for us as kids. Yeah. And then we played it recently. And then we still enjoyed it. It was really fun for us. Uh Uh-huh. It was more fun than I remember it being. Or, like, I... I got gaslit by the internet into thinking Brawl was bad because melee players love to, like, be self-congratulatory. <laughs> that, that's how I feel about a, a bunch of games like Color Splash. Yeah. Or Sick or Star. I do understand it has bad or negative aspects of it, but, like, the videos that got popular about these games are videos that complain about them. Right. Um, you just get gaslit for no good reason. 3DS... My second favorite Smash game. <laughs> uh, like, I love all the different aspects of it. Only thing I would change is that, like, the uh, physics are a little weird, and certain mechanics that I like aren't there. And, you know, obviously, because it's a 3DS game, like, it's a little mm-hmm. stripped back. Wii U, I thought was okay. I it, I'm really so like it that glad much. that in Ultimate they boosted the knockback. Yeah, because I went back and played the other ones, and dude, the knockback boost is so much. The better. like ballooning style knockback, instead of just like shooting in a straight line, that's an ultimate. I like that a lot better. Like in ultimate, you like go like, <gasps> but in past games you just go like. <gasps> yeah. So I like ultimate's knockback a lot better. Yeah. And I think Ultimate is my favorite Smash game. Just it makes it more fun to play the game. Like the way they made Ultimate, it makes it like the most fun format yeah. in my. Opinion. Ultimate really is just like the perfect culmination. The I don't want to say perfect because there's still aspects about Ultimate that I don't like. It could, I'm, but comparatively to other ones, 
Specifically in the gameplay department, Ultimate's my favorite Smash game. I love Ultimate, too. I'll, I'll, put, say, I'll say it's A. I'll put Smash at the top of A. Yeah, I'll put it in A. I put it right here. Do you have any contest to that? Smash is one of those games where I feel like I couldn't put it in S. Yeah. See, po Pokemon has 30 games. 30 they, bajillion games, yeah. They have 30 games, and they have, like, five bathrooms. Right. And so it's, it's like, when you're comparing that to Kid Icarus, who has one good game, and, and then Pokemon has 30 good games, obviously it's going to be up there. Now, right. if we were labeling these games individually, we'll get there. Uprising would be way ahead of like oh, definitely. most Pokemon games. Yeah, but as a franchise, like don't sure, get me Pokemon wrong, we're made not a bad mistake. We're not trying to say Pokemon Trozy is better than Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not saying Pokemon Cafe is better than you know specifically your Pokemon, favorite Metroid. Well, game. Pokemon Cafe Mix might not be, but Pokemon Cafe Remix. Hold the phone. They gave you a free shiny uh, <laughs> okay. blue starter. Splatoon. I have beef with Splatoon and I hate it. What's your Splatoon beef? It's like I wanted to play it and then once it launched, I couldn't play it because they didn't have access to any kind of internet and stuff. That's me also, but I still like Splatoon. But I have beef. I've never, I've still never gotten to play it. And at one point, I wanted to play it so bad. My parents were like, "We can't, you can't play Splatoon because on the back of the box it says like internet required or internet whatever." So I never got to play it, and I, I just I don't even want to play it anymore because I'm so mad about Splatoon. That was my experience because I also didn't have internet growing up. That's how Garden Warfare Two was for me. But like, like when I got Splatoon Two, I had to like anytime there was a Splatfest, I would like beg my grandparents to stay the night so I could do the Splatfest. I didn't have that option. So I have good memories with Splatoon. Specifically Splatoon 2. I've played Splatoon 1, and I think it's fine. I like Splatoon 2. I have Splatoon 3 pre-ordered. I think they're consistently good games. I'll let you put it up there. I don't think Splatoon itself is a bad game, but I'll put it in D because I haven't played it. I'll, I want to put it between Mario Party and Mario Kart. The only Splatoon that I've ever played was that one map in Ultimate and that one Mario Kart map. <laughs> And that's the only Splatoon I've This is where I want to put Splatoon, but if you want to knock it down some, I'll knock well, it down Well, I some. would put it in D because I haven't played it, so I don't get to really rank it. Okay. We'll, we'll, I'll let you play Splatoon 3 on the channel. We'll play Splatoon 3. I'll, I'll play Splatoon right now, and then I get to rank it. <laughs> I have Splatoon 2 on me. Okay, Star Fox. Star Fox, eh. I never liked it. Honestly, C. Yeah, first C tier. WarioWare? It Kyrie. really, it really depends on my mood. It, yeah, when you're in the WarioWare mood, it hits so different. It's so good. But like right now, it's hitting like a low D tier. I want to like put, I'm, I'm imagining myself playing WarioWare at this very moment, and I, I like, and I feel like it's an awful game. But I know when I played it with you, I had an amazing time. Yeah, like when WarioWare is at its best, it's very good. I want to put it over Metroid because I like WarioWare more than Metroid. Yeah, I do too. Okay. I like WarioWare more than Mario and Luigi. I want to put WarioWare right here. Okay. I'm fine with that. The gap between Mario Party and Mario Kart is increasing. Which is good. But we, but it's funny because <laughs> we said it's like the same game, but like better. Xenoblade Chronicles? Have you played any of them? Not enough to validate my ranking. Yeah, me neither. I've only played a little bit, like, I've only played, like, five hours of the first one. We're going to get canceled if we put it in C tier like we both want, so just put it in D. <laughs> uh, Yoshi? Eh. I don't really have an opinion. Yoshi? Very... Are we counting the Mario and Luigi... Yoshi game where you have to like carry them on your back and beat the levels and stuff. That's a Yoshi game. Yeah, right? Yoshi's Island. I was thinking of the one for the DS. Yeah, that's also a Yoshi game. Is it another Yoshi's Island? Yeah, I'll put it at. I want to put it under Doctor Mario. I want to put it in C tier. Okay, I wasn't gonna say C tier, but I'm. I'll, I'll agree. I really liked and enjoyed the Yoshi games, 
but if I'm comparing of what I think they are in quality or goodness in games from personal experience, there was something of, you know when you watch those YouTube videos and it goes, Yoshi's Island's darkest secret. <laughs> and it's like, it's like Yoshi's Island is really a horror thing and Yoshi really kidnapped Mario and is trying to run from Mario's parents type of thing. Yeah. It always gives me those creepy, scary things. Now, Yoshi's Yarn, or whatever it's called. Yoshi's Woolly World. I liked that game. Yeah. But I'll still keep Yoshi at a C tier. Okay. Zelda? <sighs> That's so hard. I like one Zelda game. And Zelda is so hard to rank. I loved Majora's Mask. I think Zelda is a very okay franchise. I want to put Zelda in B, because I love Zelda way more than any Donkey Kong game. Even the Zelda games I didn't like, I want to put. I would rather play those over Donkey Kong, like any Donkey Kong game. I'll put Zelda. I want to at least put it in B. Yeah, I was gonna say B. I'll this is right here. That works for me. Okay. All right. Well, this is the official ranking of every single Nintendo franchise, and there is no competing because this is officially. The proper ranking from two white guys. Yep. So if you disagree with this list, uh, you, you're wrong. You have brain damage. Yeah, you're just you're just wrong. So have fun being wrong. <laughs> Sorry for saying you had brain damage. Because <laughs> I know you disagree with this list, dear viewer. How could they? You're right, actually. What What's the wrongness in any game on this list? No, I mean... Where's the flaw in any of it? Look, it match. it's like a perfect box right here. How could that be wrong? For some reason, the format of Mario Kart, Mario Luigi, Metroid... Like, for some reason, like, the way those games are, like, lined up mm -hmm. really satisfies me. I don't know. It's like that line when you look at it zoomed yeah. out. It's really satisfying. It's like slowly getting wider. And then the explosive punch out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's it. Glad you, not glad you watched the video.